compatriots, comrades, friends. This year marks the 18th anniversary for the Nanjing Massacre. Eighty years ago, the Japanese invaders committed the crime of Nanjing Massacre. 300,000 people were slaughtered, and millions of women and children were trampled and raped. The city of Nanjing witnessed atrocity, and this inhumane deeds is against human against human nature and is a dark page in human civilization. Today, we gather here to hold the National Memorial Service for Nanjing Massacre Victims in commemoration of the deceased in the massacre. And all lives that were lost during the Japanese aggression, as well as all people who had given their lives for the victory of the Japanese, of the war of resistance, as well as the in commemoration of though all those people from home and abroad that have given their life to our fight to independence. It's a declaration that we will never forget the past and that we will cherish peace in the future. It's a solemn declaration that peaceful development is our wish and pledge. Eighty years have passed the dark history of the massacre has been recognized by UNESCO as the World Heritage of Memory and will be forever engraved in history. Faced with the atrocity of the Japanese invaders, our compatriots rise and fall together and fight together, and a lot of people offer help to protect the innocent civilians and keep records of the atrocity. Among them are John Rebe from Germany, Sindberg from uh, Denmark, John March from the United States for their humanitarian efforts the Chinese people will never forget. At the critical moment of life and death and faced with the atrocity of the Japanese invaders, the Chinese people stayed together and patriotism has convened us all. The Communist Party of China has led this effort against Japanese invasion and has played the mainstream, the main part in the fight against Japanese invasions. The Chinese people has paid great sacrifice to defend national sovereignty and independence. And life and blood were given in order to defeat the invaders and has finally won the war of resistance and has yet written a chapter of uh, resistance. In 14 years of fighting against resistance, we 
have lost 35 million people in casualty, and China has become the main battlefield for anti-fascist war and has made great contribution to the winning of the World War II. Patriots, comrades, dear friends, we should never forget history and be forever engraved. The Nanjing Massacre and Manila Massacre or the death rail of Taimian, of Thailand and Myanmar. The Chinese people and the people all, all over the world will never forget. Only if we can remember history can we build a better future. In the future, we should re also keep the past in mind. We should keep in memory the stories of our predecessors in order to avoid the repeating of tragedies and also fight for the continued human prosperity and peace. War is like a mirror. It keeps reminding us the preciousness of peace. This war, led by the Japanese militarists, has caused great casualties and pains and sufferings to the Chinese people and to the Japanese people alike. The people of uh, China and Japan should cherish this peace, and peace needs the safeguarding effort of the entire international community. We should face the past in a candid manner and gain strength from it. To safeguard peace, people all over the world should work together to honor the UN Charter and international orders and further promote peace and development of the entire human race. To safeguard peace, China will stay committed to peaceful development. Whenever development stage we are, we will never expand and will never enforce what we have suffered to other nations. China and Japan are neighbors, and we have a lot of uh, civil communications and we go way back. Therefore, we should be friendly neighbors and learn from each other and conduct friendly diploma diplomatic relations. We should further deepen our cooperation and foreign relations with neighboring countries, including Japan. This year marks the 45th anniversary of the official establishment of uh, uh, foreign relations, and our two countries should focus, should base our policies, foreign policies, on the interests of the two people, and peace and development and friendliness should be the theme. And we should learn from history and face the future and continue the friendly relations and contribute to the peace and development of the human race. Comrades, compatriots, friends, since the 18th National Congress, the central leadership center around uh, Xi Jinping has shouldered historical responsibilities and proposed a series of new concepts, new strategies, and new theories, and has stipulated major targets and principles and regulations and major costs, and have thus promoted the development of the party and the country as a whole. In a solemn occasion, we are here to commemorate the past, commemorate the victims and the patriots 
With our efforts, our national comprehensive strength has entered the top league of the world, and our national position has been raised, and the livelihood of the people and the nation has been entirely changed. The socialism with Chinese characteristics has entered a new phase. Our mission calls for responsibility, and the mission will lead us to the future. Today, the Chinese people are stronger as ever, are stronger than ever, and capable than ever to realize the national rejuvenation. In this long, new long march, the Chinese people will also stay true to the socialism with Chinese characteristics and its uh, theories, and uh, with the strong leadership of the Communist Party of China, we will further our efforts to strengthen the socialism with Chinese characteristics and create better lives for us all. The Chinese people is more than willing to work with people from all over the world to build a community of mutual destiny and be the contributor to world peace and contributor to world development and uh, the protector of world others. And uh, together, we will build a better future for the entire human race. Thank you.